Hello guys, today I'm going to try to demonstrate how big of a problem I'm having with the Phantom 4 Pro V2 which has a mind of its own when it comes to yaw, when it comes to turning it turns on its own it uh, refuses to turn constantly when you want it to turn and I didn't have this problem with a normal Phantom 4 Pro which I've got in the car as well and we're going to see the difference between these two drones so here it is, that's the 4 Pro V2 and uh, I'm going to put this on the stand here and hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate that take off okay so far it's stable let's go a bit higher Okay, you can already see that it's turning on its own. I'm not doing anything, my hands are here. It is turning on its own. Okay, say if we go forward. I release. Now we don't have any kind of motion, that's fine. Let's come back. Release. Thank you. Last time I had some kind of uh, turning movement right after releasing the stick. It just stopped and turned around quickly without me asking him to do it, asking it to do it. So. Go a bit higher up. Maybe it's the wind that causes this. Tilt the camera a bit down. Okay, it's a bit too bright now. Okay, let's do this again. Forward. See, it just turned. It didn't go straight forward. It made a turn first. Release. Another turn. So there you go, that's the problem. And say for example, that I need to keep this tree in focus. See there's a tree there. Right. There's a tree that's centered here. All I want to do is to go away from it but keep it centered. It just won't do that. You see? It's not centered at all. Obviously, I would have had to tilt up. Okay, let's try that again. Let's let's do that. It doesn't keep a steady uh, cap. How do you say that in English? No idea. Okay, I'm going, not going to touch that other control. Unless now that I'm putting it in the middle again. Okay, I'm just going to play with the up and down so I can really go back and keep it centered on the on the tree. Right now you can see it's already turned. It's already turned on its own. And when I release it goes back to where it was. This is crazy. There. Tree centered perfect center I go back move sideways trees goes to the right how can you explain this okay again turn it Stay. Stay. Okay. Back. It's still still turning. It's not going back in a in a straight direction. The tree is on the right. Stop. And then the tree is centered again. 
Okay, let's go forward. Now the tree goes back to the center. Why? Why? Okay. Okay, so then I tried to switch the Phantom 4 Pro V1 propellers to the Phantom 4 Pro V2 and it had no change at all. It was the same problem with the V2. And then I flew the V1 and you're actually seeing a flight with the V1 and I want you to notice how steady the turn is on this video. It just, it is smooth. It's turning around smoothly. It's not accelerating. It's not slowing down. It's turning around smoothly. Okay, and then I'm going to try to uh, head towards the mountain again. You can just see how smooth this footage is. It's not jumpy, it's not jittering around. Uh, I'm happy with it. I'm, I must say, I, I really enjoy flying the, um, the V1. The problem I had with this drone was that uh, it had a camera sensor error after one year of use, and I'm always hand the drone. It's never crashed. It's never got into any issue. It's never hit anything. It's a pristine drone, but it just stopped working after a while, and I got a camera sensor error, and I had to send it for repairs and cost me eight thousand rupees, which is two hundred and thirty-four U.S. dollars. Just to repair it, I don't know what exactly they did with it, but I had the exact same issue with my Phantom 4 standard. Same problem, camera sensor error never crashed. And with that drone, they changed, they had changed the flex cable, I think it was port 49 or something like this. And the problem came back after two more months of use. And I probably had used that uh, just two or three times. So this is actually what you're seeing here is the the uh, RC model airfield and it's just like 10 minutes from my place. Pretty cool place if you ask me. And I was joined by one of the guys there uh, just a few minutes into my flight. So that was nice. So the next flight I'm going to show you right now is uh, the same kind of uh, 360 turn with the Phantom 4 Pro V2. See how it, just now it slowed. I'm not doing anything different with my fingers, with my thumb. And this here again is slowed. And it picks up some speed again. And you know when it slows, I have a tendency to push it forward. Uh, to push it more so that it turns faster. So then it accelerates. And then for some reason, it slows down again, like right now. It's slowing. It's, it just slowed down. And then it picks up some speed again. So that's a real big problem with this Phantom 4 Pro V2. And I really hate flying with it. So uh, if I need to get rid of a drone, I'm probably going to get rid of the V2 one and keep my V1. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. And let's see how, how we can put some pressure on DJI so that they can fix this. Because it's ridiculous. Look at that. Come on.